glad. I'm, I'm always got to see stuff. Look, I'm right now since mm. the pandy and since things have been shut, you know, since things were shut down. Yeah. I've always, I've been, I've been nervous in regards to the reopening in regards to like Disney kind of using the pandy as excuses not to reopen things ever again. Right. Basically, oh, yeah. jo- basically, you know, jolly trolleying things, right? That's what I don't want to happen. So I'm happy to see the monorails back in business, 100%. Um, one thing that in terms of the in-park stuff that I really want to see back is the red car trolley. Yes. Um, the red car trolley is vital to California Adventure. That adds so much kinetic energy and life to Buena Vista Street and Hollywood Land, and we haven't heard mum about that. That worries me. Now, I am a little bit – I feel a little bit – secure with it coming back because they actually spent the time to put the tracks through a vendor's campus. Obviously when they wouldn't spend the money if they were just going to can't, if they were just going to get rid of the, the trolley altogether. Right. Yeah. They won't spend a dime more than they have to. So <laughs> I do feel eventually they will come back, but I got to say, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous about the return of the red car trolley. I want to see those return. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, I haven't nothing heard from any insiders, nothing, no, t- you know, at least with the monorails for the past few months, we've had some testing on the beams and what mm-hmm. have you. We've seen phantasmic testing or or the working on the equipment. World the working of on color. The equipment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the equipment, World of Color, they're working on Lagoon. So things are, moves are happening with the red car trolley. It's been crickets, crickets, crickets. Yeah. I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that because that was one of the one of the best things that came to DCA. It was kinetic energy that it so needed. And I'm really worried Disney's going to say, you know what? And eh, we really need to pay these cast members to go up and down the street. And I'm worried about it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to remain optimistic. But we'll see. Um, but I am worried. They spent considerable expense to put in that wireless charger, that huge wireless industrial wireless charger, um, and the Buena Vista Street um, stop, right? Uh, you know that that um, the the stop at the front of the park there for the not just the red car trolley, but for the expectation that they wouldn't have you know service, uh, you know previously that they had established before if you know the red car trolley you knew that uh previously it kind of went backstage a little bit uh or or could go backstage for periods of time and i think that allowed for that wireless charging if i remember if i if i know correctly if i remember correctly uh if i have that correct i should say um and so when adventures cap campus was established it, you know there is a pathway there for it to be brought out at the start of the day and the end of the night but not cross those doors ever again to, you know, kind of keep the integrity of Avengers campus itself. And as a result, they had to put that wireless charging unit, uh, at the Buena Vista street stop there. So they have infrastructure, considerable infrastructure to maintain the trolley. And it Mm -hmm. actually played a role in the kind of the newsies show, didn't it? It did. Oh, a huge role. Yeah. They, they would get on the trolley. They would sing. I would, I love that show and they canceled it. You know, understandably so. I mean, they, mm-hmm. they got rid of it a few years ago when they were starting to build a vendor's campus, which I understand right. that. That's fine. You know, it, it, it ran right there with Hollywood Land and all that. But um, they got to bring that back. I mean, that that's one of the things that really sets Buena Vista Street apart, I think, from even like Main Street. You know, it has a more urban feel. So it's a trolley. It's got the overhead wires. It just feels more L.A. It, it sets it apart, and I'd be really sad if, if they ended up dis- discontinuing that. Disney doesn't have a good track record when it comes to trolleys. <laughs> yeah, you ask yeah, Jim down. That's yeah, I know. That, that is a good point. <laughs> that's a that is a very, very good point. Un- unfortunately, I think you know DCA really needs a kinetic, you know, and, and and that's what was that played a big part in the kind of reinvention of dca back in 2012 right right it provided that connect that transportation that, that dca really never had and kind of gave this kind of lived in living breathing world so to speak to to california venture to buena vista street and so forth um it, it is it is concerning that that there hasn't really been any chatter whatsoever and i've 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 looked, man. I've I've heard rumors for world of color like you said i've heard rumors nothing. for phantasmic nothing for the trolleys and that does uh does have me concerned from what i understand it, it really is just staffing you know just just it's just it's just a staffing issue right now there i know 
they're really below, I think, where they want to be in terms of staffing. And uh, with everything that's going on in the world right now, I don't see that situation improving anytime soon, unfortunately. Mm-hmm.